here on something of a quest to find uh, the face of Cyrus. As far as I know, we have no ancient depictions of the great Persian king, uh, and so I've been interested to see the ways in which he has been represented in subsequent centuries. Cyrus is an interesting character in the Middle Ages, and even though the Department of Manuscripts only has about 230 objects, we actually have six depictions of Cyrus in our manuscripts, which is a pretty good number considering the size of the collection. The way that Bibles worked in the Middle Ages is they often had a depiction at the beginning of each book of the Bible, and it's interesting that Cyrus was sort of one of the most well-known stories from the book of Ezra and so often could be found at the beginning sort of standing for the entire book of the Bible. Interesting, interesting. In the Middle Ages, almost throughout the Middle Ages, you see this tendency to put the people, the places, the architecture in terms of that particular time period. So you'll see in this particular one, it's actually an illuminated initial, which means that the initial letter is filled with a kind of figural scene. And you can see Cyrus at the bottom directing the um, rebuilding of the temple. And you'll see men above with various tools of the trade. And these aren't tools of the trade from the actual time of the rebuilding of the second temple, but actually medieval tools and medieval construction techniques. And in fact, Cyrus is shown building essentially a Gothic cathedral mm -hmm. rather than the second temple of Jerusalem. But for the people in the Middle Ages, that was sort of help them bring the story into their own lives and sort of integrate Cyrus and what he did into their conception of what the role of the Bible was. Who would be using, a, a, who would be seeing a depiction of Cyrus like this? In what context would a, a, a volume like this be used? Bibles were utilized by um, mostly in the early Middle Ages and the High Middle Ages, um, religious figures, clerics, bishops, priests. Um, this particular Bible um, belonged to a Dominican order, which means that it belonged probably to a community of monks and clerics who used it basically on a daily basis um, for the readings during the church services. The volume to the right, this is a um, book called Concerning the Fates of Illustrious Men and Women. And it's actually a text that um, basically gathers together lots and lots of unhappy stories about heroes and um, figures from history. It actually has two pictures of Cyrus in this book. The first one um, references what happens to Cyrus after he's removed from his mother. And you can see that he's actually um, brought up by sheep's milk. You can see him actually on all fours sort of suckling, and this is what enables him to stay alive. And then this image shows him at the end of his life. This manuscript shows about how you get rich, powerful, and famous, and you always have a bad ending. And this shows that ending for Cyrus. Just as there were many stories about Cyrus's birth, there are plenty of stories about Cyrus's death. And if you read Xenophon, uh, he dies a very peaceful death, surrounded by his family and friends, and able to sort of say his last words without any, without, you know, in, in, in peace and comfort. So these narratives are sort of constantly being manipulated and used to the ends that the historians choose. Right. He's clearly not dying in comfort here. His decapitated head is being dunked in blood. I'm fascinated by how these antique legends can be, as you said, reutilized, repurposed for medieval ends. And in the case of Cyrus, it was medieval leaders looking at him and saying, man, if Cyrus can conquer Persia, look what I can do in Europe. I want to be that leader. I want to be that conqueror. I want to be that benevolent despot. It doesn't really matter that we don't know what he looks like. We don't know the details of his religious beliefs or what, what exactly he did. It is the legacy and mythology that surrounds him that makes him so such an important figure.